much as 40% depending on individual genes. It's time for Better Health Today. We're joined with Asante's health expert, Beth Coker. We are also joined with Jackson County Public Health Officer, Dr. Jim Shames. Thank you so much, you two, for being here. Thank you. And today, Dr. Shames, we're uncovering some of the myths surrounding the coronavirus pandemic. Now, first it was mask off, and now it's mask on. Why the difference in the guidance with wearing a mask? The mask off was at a time when we had very critical uh, supply shortages of PPEs. We were just learning about the virus. Uh, we were making some assumptions and we were wrong. And I think that uh, the guidance that was coming from the CDC and the World Health Organization changed. We recognized the value of masks. And over time, the research is very clear. Masks are very important, probably one of the most important tools we have to get a handle uh, on the coronavirus problem. So the message there is strong, wear the mask. Now, the other thing that people are asking is, if I have been infected with the coronavirus the first time, am I immune to getting the coronavirus ever again? Yeah, well, yeah. if they know the answer to that question, they could be publishing a, an article uh, in, in medical journals because we don't know. Uh, we're trying to solve that problem. You know, do you get protective immunity? How long does it last? It looks as if people who are really sick get more protective immunity than people who have no symptoms or mild symptoms. That's about as much as we know now. So uh, unfortunately, you can't, you can't go out into the world and assume that you're safe because uh, you had coronavirus at some point. And one of the burning questions we hear often from people is, doesn't the flu kill more people than the coronavirus pandemic? Yeah, it, it doesn't. Uh, there's a lot of issues around this data. Uh, the flu data is kind of estimated. We don't really know how many people get the flu every year, 20,000, 40,000, 60,000. Uh, and the other thing is there's a lot more uh, deaths from coronavirus and it's just getting worse. There's a flu season and this coronavirus season has so far been uh, a lot shorter and yet uh, a lot deadlier. Uh, there's some estimates that uh, the coronavirus is 10 to 20 percent uh, more uh, fatal than uh, influenza. And one other issue people really want to know, are there different guidelines for indoor versus outdoor protection against the coronavirus? The, the guidelines are always changing based on what we know, but what is very clear is that you're almost always safer doing whatever it is you have to do uh, outdoors than indoors. If you want to have a chat with somebody and you do it outdoors physically distanced, you're much safer than indoors physically distanced. Um, so uh, it's helpful to wear a mask if you're going to be close to somebody outdoors or indoors. But uh, as I said, if, if, if you have a choice, you want your activity to be out, outdoors where there's breezes, there's good air circulation, uh, and you'll be safer. <laughs> All right, Dr. James, thank you so much. Great information there. Wear your mask and be outdoors if you can. We'll be right back.